Are you or someone you know dealing with emotional pain? In today's video, we delve into the 11 common behaviors of emotionally hurt people and how the ancient philosophy of Stoicism can provide valuable guidance on overcoming emotional pain. 1. To keep from feeling depressed, people try to stay busy. People who have experienced emotional trauma frequently engage in a behavior that on the surface may appear beneficial or even admirable. They are always occupied. They appear to be continuing to be involved, active, and possibly even thriving. Beneath the surface, though, this constant business is a coping mechanism for their deeper emotions of unhappiness, loneliness, or unresolved sorrow. This is a defensive technique whereby the person uses employment, hobbies, or social interactions to fill the voids left by emotional distress. Being busy provides a fleeting sense of control, which makes it common as a diversion from mental distress. By keeping ourselves busy, we prevent the quiet that could lead to the emergence of unpleasant thoughts and feelings, and instead feel as though we are in control of our lives. But in time, this tactic might turn into a trap. We only cover up the emotional wounds that require attention, allowing them to fester beneath the surface, rather than tending to them. With its foundation in self-awareness and acceptance of life's obstacles, the Stoic philosophy provides us with an escape from this avoidance loop. Stoicism emphasizes that in order to grow personally and find inner peace, we must face our emotions, no matter how uncomfortable. The main takeaway from this is that our perceptions of the events and emotions are what hurt us, not the sensations or occurrences themselves. In essence, we are trying to escape our perception of melancholy as something intolerable when we try to keep ourselves occupied in order to avoid feeling sad. However, stoicism pushes us to change our perspective and realize that feelings are normal reactions to the situations in life. A stoic viewpoint holds that ties to things that are out of our control are frequently the root cause of misery. We could feel depressed if we have lost something or someone we love, or if life isn't going the way we had hoped. However, stoicism emphasizes that change, disappointment, and loss are all a part of life, and that life is unpredictable. The stoics would have us consider the transience of everything rather than allowing ourselves to be overcome by melancholy or attempting to avoid it by being overly busy. Everything in life is ephemeral, including our own lives, as well as our relationships and belongings. Understanding this can make it easier for us to accept melancholy as a normal feeling rather than something to be avoided or feared. People often think they are in control of their lives when they keep themselves busy in an attempt to avoid feeling down. They believe they are in control of their emotions when they pack their days full with activities. But Stoicism questions this idea of authority. The Stoic school of thought holds that although we are in charge of our decisions, deeds, and attitudes, we are powerless over the outside occurrences in life or the feelings that inevitably follow. Being overly busy may give the appearance of control, but it doesn't deal with the underlying causes of emotional suffering. We go further off from the actual task of emotional recovery, the more we depend on outside divergence to control our internal states. The path of Stoicism encourages us to focus our attention inward, where real power is found. We can learn to accept, process, and eventually transcend our emotions rather than trying to control them by avoiding them. The habit of silence and introspection is one of Stoicism's main principles. The Stoics held that we need to periodically take time to think on our thoughts, deeds, and emotions if we are to live a moral and satisfying life. Examining ourselves helps us better understand why we feel the way we do and how to match our actions with our principles. A potent remedy for emotionally wounded individuals who attempt to distract themselves from their pain is to embrace stillness. The Stoics advise us to take a moment to sit with our emotions rather than cramming every minute with activities. At first, this could be unsettling because it makes us face the emotions we are attempting to suppress. However, it is in this silence that we can start to comprehend the underlying reasons behind our melancholy and initiate the process of recovery. Strength is one of the main characteristics of Stoicism, especially the strength to confront unpleasant feelings like grief. 
Those who have experienced emotional trauma frequently avoid facing their melancholy out of fear of being overcome by it. But courage, according to Stoicism, is the capacity to do action in the face of fear rather than the lack of it. Stoicism encourages us to face grief with the same bravery we would any other obstacle in life. Rather of constantly distracting ourselves from our emotions, we can face them head on and accept that they are fleeting. We begin the process of healing when we courageously face our sadness. Individuals who try to distract themselves from their inner anguish by being busy tend to try and avoid feeling depressed. But as the Stoics taught, courageously, wisely, and acceptingly embracing our emotions is the path to true emotional power, not running away from them. Through the practice of mindfulness, acceptance of quiet, and introspection into the reasons behind our melancholy, we can turn our emotional suffering into a chance for personal development. By teaching us that melancholy is a normal part of life and not something to be avoided or feared, Stoicism provides a route to emotional resilience. Ultimately, grief can lead to inner peace and increased insight. 2. Sometimes, people find calm in being alone. People with emotional wounds frequently find comfort in isolation. Many people find that spending time by themselves provides a much-needed break from the deluge of conflicting emotions and disarray that can result from engaging with people or overcoming obstacles in life. There are several possible causes for this desire to withdraw inside themselves. They may have been the victim of treachery, harsh criticism, or extreme stress that has made them feel exposed. They establish a safe haven where they can temporarily forget about the stresses of the outside world and concentrate on quieting their inner turbulence while they are alone themselves. A period of alone offers a chance for insight. Emotionally wounded persons can face their feelings in alone, free from the interruptions of everyday life. The first stages of recovery frequently start in this silence for someone who is struggling with strong emotions. It helps people sort through mental tangles regain some semblance of peace and comprehend the underlying causes of their distress. Additionally, Stoicism emphasizes the need of equilibrium. Even though isolation can be an effective strategy for controlling emotions and developing self-awareness, it shouldn't be utilized as a way to permanently remove oneself from society. Those who have experienced emotional distress run the risk of becoming unduly dependent on isolation utilizing it as a coping mechanism and a means of avoiding confronting their suffering or interacting with the outside world. People who have experienced emotional trauma may think that isolating themselves will protect them, but eventually, seclusion can turn into a prison. The wounded person runs the risk of getting even more mired in their suffering in the absence of the challenge and perspective that come from relationships and outside experiences. The advice of Stoicism is to use isolation as a short-term haven rather than a long-term getaway. Intentional reflection is encouraged by the Stoic approach to isolation. Stoicism advises persons who have experienced emotional distress to make the most of their alone time. They can concentrate on their own growth and rationally comprehending their feelings rather than obsessing on their suffering or painful memories from the past. A place where emotional transformation can occur is solitude. Those who have experienced emotional distress might use their alone time to reflect on their ideas and eventually change their perspective from one of victimization to one of empowerment. According to Stoicism, we always have control over how we react, even though we may not be able to influence what happens to us. For those who have experienced emotional trauma, this sense of agency is essential because it gives them back control over their own lives. Stoicism helps persons who have experienced emotional trauma to return to society with a renewed sense of purpose and serenity after spending time alone. The intention is not self-isolation for all time, but rather the use of solitude as a tool for introspection, healing, and preparing for life's obstacles. They can return to social situations more adeptly prepared to manage their emotions, relationships, and outside conditions with more resilience, thanks to the insights they obtained during their time alone. The Stoics held that emotional serenity might be attained in both our interactions with others and in solitude. 
After spending some time in isolation reflecting and healing from their emotional wounds, emotionally wounded persons might apply stoic virtues like courage, knowledge, and patience in their daily encounters. They improve their capacity to maintain composure under pressure by doing this, even in trying or upsetting circumstances. While solitude might bring about a brief sense of quiet, stoicism teaches that true emotional peace comes from controlling our thoughts and emotions. People who are emotionally damaged and seek solace in isolation can benefit from this alone time, but they should also make an effort to live by the tenets of stoicism, which include self-reflection, reasoned thought, and emotional control. They can achieve long-lasting peace in their surroundings and in isolation by using this well-balanced strategy. 3. They may experience sleep issues due to unforgettable experiences. Emotionally damaged individuals frequently experience sleep difficulties. Unresolved emotions, painful memories, and prior experiences frequently occupy their brains. Their sleep suffers because they can't find serenity because they can't let go of the past. The Stoics held that our perceptions of events are what worry us, not the events themselves. This is especially valid for negative recollections. While the past cannot be changed, we may influence how we view the past. According to Stoicism, we should reinterpret how we relate to the past and acknowledge that it doesn't determine who we are. Rather, it offers us chances to improve. Stoicism promotes mindfulness exercises and present moment awareness as solutions to sleep issues. Rather than being engrossed in the past, we might decide to concentrate on what we can do right now to make our lives better. Many Stoics recommend meditation as a way to help relax the mind and lessen the influence of unwanted thoughts, which can lead to a more comfortable night's sleep. 4. People have negative thoughts about life and feel depressed. People who have experienced emotional pain frequently develop negative thought patterns where they believe that everything in life is bad, depressing, and hopeless. This pessimism can lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy in which misery is expected and hence intensifies emotional anguish. The idea that our perceptions determine our reality is one of Stoicism's central lessons. According to Marcus Aurelius, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Put another way, if we let pessimism consume us, we will see the world from a bleak perspective. Recognizing the influence of our thoughts and actively practicing constructive optimistic thinking are two things that Stoicism emphasizes. Instead of promoting hopelessness, Stoicism encourages realism and moderation. Both happiness and grief are a part of life, and it is up to us to decide how to react and understand the things that happen to us. We can change our perspective from one of melancholy to one of acceptance and resilience by cultivating thankfulness and concentrating on our controllable circumstances. 5. Some people find it difficult to make future plans because they overthink things. A different trait that emotionally wounded persons frequently display is overthinking. Worries about the past and anxiety about the future take over their minds. They may find it challenging to plan ahead or take significant action in the here and now as a result of their excessive rumination. According to Stoicism, we should stop being fixed by worries about the future and instead concentrate on the here and now. Living in harmony with nature, which entails accepting life as it unfolds and without trying to control every result, is what the Stoics advocated. Many times, worrying about the future is pointless because it diverts our attention from the here and now when meaningful action can be done. A stoic mindset allows us to stop worrying too much about the future and learn to make the best decisions in the here and now. It also helps us to trust that we can manage whatever comes our way. 6. Their strong emotional feelings enable them to become easily upset. People who have experienced emotional trauma typically experience emotions more strongly than others, which might result in frequent episodes of rage, irritation, or melancholy. They are more susceptible to emotional disturbances due to their increased sensitivity. Through the practice of Stoicism, we can learn to become emotionally detached, not by repressing our emotions, but by becoming able to see them with objectivity. Often, when we get angry, 
It's because we've given things that are beyond of our control too much importance. The Stoics held that our judgments determine our emotions and that we may alter our emotional reactions by altering our judgments. 7. They struggle to recognize whether their relationships are good or bad. Relationship problems are common for those who have experienced emotional hurt. Because of their prior experiences, which may have clouded their judgment and made them distrustful or too dependent on others, they may find it difficult to judge if their interactions are beneficial or detrimental. Relationships should be built on mutual respect, understanding, and an appreciation of each person's individuality, according to Stoicism. We are encouraged by Stoicism to evaluate our relationships rationally and clearly. We can avoid partnerships that deplete our emotional energy and instead build relationships based on mutual respect and support by putting Stoic ideals into practice. 8. Because they are sensitive, they could react strongly to remarks or jokes. People who have experienced emotional trauma may respond angrily to seemingly harmless remarks or jokes, taking them personally and becoming offended by even small-minded criticism or jesting. Their relationships may suffer and social interactions may become more difficult as a result of this increased sensitivity. We learn not to take things personally from Stoicism. It is our perception of ourselves that counts, not the opinions of others, over which we have any control. What counts is how you respond to whatever happens to you. We can learn to let go of the need for outside approval and concentrate on developing inner strength by taking on this mentality. Stoicism counsels us to exercise self-control and humility in the face of criticism. Rather of responding without thinking, we ought to pause and consider whether the remark actually matters in the larger context. We frequently discover that other people's viewpoints are ephemeral and unimportant to our general well-being. 9. They become enraged easily, which can lead to issues. Anger can be a frequent and dangerous feeling for those who have experienced emotional trauma. They could get angry or agitated easily, which could cause arguments and strain relationships. Their feelings of unfairness or unresolved anguish are at the root of their rage. Anger is one of the worst emotions, according to the Stoics, for both ourselves and other people. Seneca wrote a great deal about the perils of rage, claiming that it impairs reason and causes us to behave irrationally. He counseled us to try to maintain our composure and composure even when provoked. We learn from Stoicism that our anger is a reaction to something that we feel has been done to us. But if we change the way we look at things, we can understand that most crimes are either inadvertent or insignificant. We have the option to reply patiently and understandingly rather than angrily. This means that we tackle problems with an open mind and a loving heart rather than endorsing harmful behavior. 10. People need reassurance and frequently feel unsure of themselves due to past criticism. People who have experienced emotional harm frequently battle uneasiness and self-doubt. It's possible that prior rejection or criticism injured their self-esteem, making them constantly look to others for validation. Stoicism argues that other people's opinions do not define our value. Rather, our worth stems from leading virtuous and rational lives. Emotionally wounded persons can learn to develop self-confidence from within by adopting stoic ideas. They can concentrate on improving themselves rather than waiting on other people to validate their value. Stoicism promotes wisdom, courage, and integrity as a means of improving oneself as opposed to pursuing acceptance or avoiding criticism. 11. Their intense feelings might influence their moods and thoughts and cause them to perceive things in a significant way. People who have experienced emotional trauma frequently exaggerate their feelings, which can cloud their judgment of reality. Minor victories could only provide momentary happiness, while minor losses can feel like enormous failures. They may find it challenging to keep a steady mood or an objective viewpoint as a result of their intense emotional state. We learn to exercise emotional restraint from stoicism. Extremes of emotion, whether good or unpleasant, can divert us from reason, according to the Stoics. Rather, they espouse the virtues of preserving equilibrium and poise in any situation. 
People who are emotionally damaged display a variety of behaviors that are a result of their suffering, but by adopting stoic principles, they can develop better resilience and wisdom in managing their emotions. Stoicism provides useful methods for controlling emotions, handling pain, and fostering inner calm. Through practicing mindfulness, emotional detachment, and concentrating on what we can control, we can turn our pain into a chance for personal development and empowerment. From a stoic perspective, we may recognize that although emotional suffering is unavoidable, it need not define us. Rather, it can serve as a stimulant for our own growth, giving us the fortitude and insight required to lead moral lives filled with fulfillment and inner peace.